All right, once again, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanwich is back with us, and I doubt that he has changed his whole winter forecast in the last right. few Right. A reminder, you get one day. <laughs> one good day. We're going to focus on that one day. And that's tomorrow. Okay. So enjoy it. <laughs> Guys, you need to know that if you're looking for eight to 12 inches of snow. Not looking for that. This no. is not going to be what we're very, seeing. Okay? Very few viewers <laughs> there are, are seeking some. that. There I have gotten some. several Facebook questions about hey can we see 6 to 12 out of this the answer is absolutely not this is not going to be a big deal for us it just but it's doesn't just look, you know i mean the flowers are starting to bloom sure. the mm -hmm. leaves are starting to pop We're, mm -hmm. even though it's not technically spring yet it feels right. like spring this year it's meteorological Meteor spring exactly yep that's right <laughs> i'm gonna head over to the wall now all right <laughs> we'll see what's going on yes yeah, so you'll notice that the regional view showing that we in view have our next little storm system it is producing some snow showers up from michigan all the way south and towards our nation's heartland this is really phase one phase two is another little disturbance that's coming at us from the south the two are going to merge and provide us a chance for a little bit of a rain snow mix as we head friday night into midday saturday but again once you see the snowfall forecast, you're going to say to yourself, hey, this doesn't look like a big deal at all. Highs tomorrow, 50s and 60s. That's out ahead of the actual front. Tomorrow's really pretty. But as we head, say, Friday night after midnight through around noon on Saturday, that is when we're going to have the highest chance for rain showers and, yes, some snow showers. Best chance for snow showers will be in areas west of the parkway. Along and east of the parkway, it's mainly just rain, okay? And what we're tracking here is not only the chance for precipitation, but we're going to have incredibly cold air coming behind the system with the winds kicking into high gear Saturday into Saturday night. Now, you'll notice that once we get beyond this cold front, an air of high pressure is going to try to push in and bring us more sunshine as we head into the day on Sunday. Look at all these winter weather alerts, okay? We have winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and winter storm watches extending from Arizona, from the desert southwest, all the way to New England, okay? So this is a cold front that is impacting a whole lot of folks. And for us, the impact here just not going to be that much. You'll notice that if you're watching us along the west slopes of West Virginia, also perhaps towards Mount Rogers, that's where we could see three to six inches of snow. However, you go into Highland County, Northern Bath County, Western Bland, Western Width, and other portions of Grayson County, areas in white, that's one to three inches of snow. Areas in light blue, that's where we're going to see zero to one. Simply put, I'm thinking you're probably going to be close to zero at Smith Mount Lake, also in Lynchburg and Amherst. To find those uh, perhaps coding to inch totals, you have to, I think, head towards the New River Valley and southern parts of the Highlands. Wintry winds return on Saturday, no doubt, could have peak gusts 30 to 50 miles per hour Saturday into Saturday night with wind chills in the single digits and teens as we head Saturday night into Sunday morning. Actual air temperatures come Sunday morning going to range between about 13 and 20 degrees. Record cold watches on. We need to get between 8 and 18. I don't think we get that frigid, but we're going to be really close. So as we look ahead now and show you temperatures right now, not bad. They're in the 30s and 40s. 42 in Blacksburg, 45 Roanoke, 37 in Danville. Once we get beyond the weekend, once we get rid of this cold front, by next week, we're going to warm things right back up again. Temperatures much of next week in the 60s. For tonight, partly cloudy with your typical chill in the air. Overnight lows 31 to 37. For tomorrow, warmer. We're going to see a more sunshine than cloud cover in the mountains. Upper 50s, low to mid 60s. Outside the mountains, mid to upper 60s. Extended forecast showing highs on Saturday falling from the 40s into the 30s. 50 on Sunday, 62 to 68 next week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday dry with a chance for rain. 